Okay, game's up. Yeah, shall we start? Yes, we can start if you like. Okay, so uh, let's go. So uh, hello everyone and welcome uh, to this session in which we will discuss together about how and mostly why uh, we should gamify the digital workplace to better engage employees. But first, um, let me introduce my, myself. I am Julien Roland, Product Marketing Manager at Powell Software. And today I'm with uh, Pia. That I, will, uh, that I will let introduce herself and she will give you also a very quick overview of uh, who we are and what we do at uh, Powell uh, Software. Yes, thank you, Julien. So I'm Pia Hönscheid. I am the marketing lead in DAH and I'm mostly responsible for Powell being represented professionally among other software providers. And that's why we are here today at the Intranet Reloaded. Um, but first of all, um, let me tell you what Powell Software is and what we do. So Powell Software is a software provider. We create a platform to the collaborate experience. So we develop um, collective intelligent solutions to enable companies to write their future of work using the talents of all their employees. And for that, we are awarded. Even yesterday on the online, um, uh, no, on the on-site session, we won the award together with Andres and Hauser for the best customer success story here in the Internet Bloated um, for Powell Internet. Okay, thank you, Pia. Uh, so I can see that we have today with us several people connected, and uh, thank you, uh, thank you for uh, your participation at this session. Uh, so we uh, we are here today to have a discussion together, and we should, uh, we would love everybody to be part of this discussion and this session to make it the most uh, interesting uh, possible. So don't hesitate uh, to uh, use both the chat at your disposal, but uh, mostly to raise your hand to ask a question, share an, op an opinion or even a point of view uh, during the discussion, even if we are currently uh, speaking. So what I suggest, uh, if you agree, Pia, uh, is that uh, we go now together into this uh, session topic. So as a reminder, this is how and mostly why should we gamify the digital workplace? And we wanted to discuss together about uh, this uh, first question, what is concretely gamification and why should we use it on a daily basis in our uh, company culture and also in the digital workplace and how the digital workplace is a mean to that. Uh, and if someone wants to give uh, maybe a point of view or share an experience, don't hesitate to, uh, to ask it in the chat or even to raise your hand. And Pia, if you have something to add, don't hesitate. <laughs> yes, of course. So I noticed that um, the title, you had some issues with the title. Maybe you can explain um, what you meant by this, like uh, our so title for today. Sorry, Pia, I didn't hear you. Can you please just... Uh, of course. Repeat? So, um, you know, while creating the session, we discussed about our title of the session. Maybe you want to share why we chose the title and what you have for an issue. Um, Yes, 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 uh, and this is important because uh, usually the the initial title of the session was how to to uh, to gamify the digital workplace, and it is important and interesting to see how we can gamify the digital workplace because this is the mean and the result of how we can engage employees. But before to speak about the how, it is important to uh, to understand why we should also uh, gamify the the, uh, the 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 digital workplace of, of companies, and we have something. To, to share with you today about uh, this topic. At least this is our vision uh, at Powell Software. And our vision is, uh, is that the, uh, the hybrid work in which we are currently uh, working, uh, as this is, this is the, the, the new normal, it involves mostly uh, the HR teams, communication teams, and also IT teams to build um, an efficient dig digital workplace that brings everyone, everyone together. Why? Um, it is simply because HR manage managers are uh, concerned by uh, important topics such as the employee experience they provide, as well as other uh, challenges such as uh, 
building a diverse and inclusive workplace, uh, or even connect the, the, the fragmented, fragmented workforce in the hybrid work. At the opposite, uh, communication teams uh, have as a goal to be able to promote and engage uh, into uh, the, the company's corporate uh, culture to make it a culture that is alive uh, on a daily basis. And finally, uh, we have the IT teams that is also uh, that plays also a very important role uh, as uh, they, are, they are the people that the department that will provide, that will bring to end users the different tools and the different means, means that people need to achieve their business and corporate goals in a secure and compliant uh, framework. And this is why we think that gamification is important uh, and that we see this notion uh, even um, more and more as it can help HR comes and IT teams to provide uh, simply an environment in which uh, corporate culture engagement and social links are at the heart of the digital workplace. Finally, uh, to, uh, to, to better connect the employees in the hybrid work. And this is what we do uh, at Powell Software. Uh, and to, uh, to, to speak more maybe about the notion of gamification, um, for, for us, the gamification is just simply the fact to have a, play, a playful approach that brings uh, simple uses in the different uh, digital workplace to, workplace tools that we use on the daily basis. It allows also to have a more well-being and also a sense of belonging as we participate and we, uh, we are um, with gamification an actor and not only a reader or uh, someone uh, who will just uh, maybe uh, search and uh, look for uh, different contents. Uh, and maybe you have some uh, interesting point of view to share about it uh, or even an experience to share with us. Um, you know, Julien, I discussed with a lot of people um, during this event and um, also with the icebreaker session. Um, it's also a lot about um, people asking themselves why we should participate, like what's in it for me and um, why should I share something? So um, obviously there are two main topics you can focus on. One is the content. It has to be interesting, of course. So um, there's a lot of things you can do content-wise. But the other thing are the tools. You have to enable the people to share something, to be active. Um, you have to enable them. You have to trigger them. And you have to play with them. You have to give them something so they want to participate and um, they see a reason in it. So yes, this and this, what, and this is I why think, the, the yes. digital workplace plays, plays a very important role because this is the means to achieve what you what you were saying, uh, Pia. And uh, you were speaking about the tools, and this is uh, important to speak about it because um, the, the digital workplace tools, uh, finally, they, they can enable the people to uh, to be more engaged uh, on a deal, on a daily basis in their corporate culture. And maybe you, you want to add, it, to add, to add something about this, uh, Pia? Um, yeah, well, of course, you know, you want to know that um, you reach your employees with your information um, and you don't only want them to be reached, but you also want them to share. Yes. Um, and we, we hear a lot uh, about um, employee engagement uh, on, the, on the internet, but con concretely, uh, why is this uh, important? Um, what we think at Powell Software is that employee engagement is key, especially, especially in the hybrid work, uh, because the workforce, as we have seen, is fragmented for the majority of companies now. And uh, by fragmented, uh, we mean shared between the field, between uh, remote and also uh, remote workers and also office workers. And this is imp extremely important, not only for HR, but also for end users, to keep some social links, some social connections, and to be part of the corporate experience and culture, uh, and also in the, co in the company's initiatives and goals, to make sure we are part of a group and that we engage into our company's mission by uh, leveraging, leveraging its messages and also its solutions. Uh, so uh, concretely, uh, the digital workplace uh, plays a key role 
as uh, Pia was saying, because this is a mean of this uh, of this engagement, and digi the digital tools and experience can push people and can help people to engage, to share news, to build, to write anything, to be uh, maybe a contributor, uh, and also uh, to uh, to exchange, to discuss about the set, the different content. It's not only about posting content; it's about it's about to making it alive on a daily basis and to share it and to uh, to engage and to to speak about it. And the digital workplace can help the people to transform them into uh, real company actors and not only uh, readers and observers. Maybe uh, what we can talk about is um, the different mechanism that can be implemented in a digital workplace. And maybe uh, Pia or, the, or uh, the other people that are connected to the session, you have already implemented uh, something and you, you, may, you might have uh, an experience to, uh, to, uh, to share with us. So I talked um, about this um, also a lot. So, um, but mostly um, the reasons or the solutions are content based. So I know that they are publishing articles regularly and also, um, you know, give them a little reward when they share something uh, personally, like um, doing personal stories, um, sharing their goals and also the failures. Also um, CEOs share, the, share those, but um, we never really actual um, talked about those tools so obviously you can uh, use like the like button uh, you, uh, the like button um, like a smiley give them a little badge or something but what is there more yes and this is where what we are about to see if no one has an, has an experience to share uh, maybe what we can do is just to present um, a short use case that we have uh, at Powell software in our uh, Powell internet solution so that's um, we can give an example of uh, of all uh, what we what we were saying about uh, about gamification and the role of the of the digital workplace to to concretely understand how it uh, how it can be uh, 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 something that is alive on a daily basis. So if no one has an experience to share, just let me uh, let me shortly introduce you to uh, to uh, one of our use cases. For the people uh, who uh, doesn't know anything about Powell software, so as Pia was uh, explaining, uh, we are, are a software provider um, uh, in which you will find uh, an intranet that is called Powell intranet that allows uh, people to be better informed, better connected, and also uh, to be uh, actors in their company because we also enable more employee engagement. And we also provide solutions for Microsoft Teams on, uh, for collaboration. Uh, and, uh, but this is not the focus today, so we will not speak about, uh, about this. Uh, so just to present you our employee advocacy uh, use case, what we do is that in our intranet, instead of just proposing uh, the fact to uh, post some, some content in a, in a, in, in a page, that people can uh, read and also to share. We have some engaging buttons, as you see here, um, that will enable the people to, uh, to share on uh, social media. But also, and you, you can see it now, but uh, there is a button also to share in Microsoft Teams for more en uh, engagement internally. So what we will find in this uh, in this scenario is just a, a page uh, that is uh, held by the marketing team, uh, and uh, you will just find here a synthesis of the most important uh, most important content that people can read, but also uh, share, uh, as well as a search bar to find uh, to quickly find the content that you need to find. Uh, but what is uh, what is uh, important to show here, and this is what we wanted also to show you, is uh, the, the the gamification part, because uh, aside of just simply posting content and having some engaging buttons to share the different contents internally and externally, we have uh, a dashboard in which we will find some different badges that people can earn, uh, as well as, a, as a, what we call a leaderboard to follow the different scores. Uh, score. and, and this is why we are also uh, speaking about some gamification uh, at Powell uh, Software. Uh, and, and you, you can know, Julien, we do have a comment from uh, Uta Schäfer. 
Um, so thank you for participating. Um, she said that gamification could be already that the user tool looks already like a game. So that it's also like coming to your eye and that you are um, that you fancy like playing um, with and participating, you know, because it's often she she said that it's often um, hard to as communication people like get other people to communicate so um it's also a lot depending on the tool and the looks and you know you, you can see it here that's also implemented in our internet yes of course and this, this is impor uh, important to uh, to understand because employees have clear expect expectation today um, uh, as we as we have seen hr wants to engage employees but the, the employees also have as we were seeing some expectation they want to avoid the complex uh, setup they want to have simple uses and um, mostly they also want to have uh, some enthusiastic approaches and to have fun in um, in a in a digital workplace that is uh, build on playful playful approaches uh, and this is why this is uh, this is crucial to to have an interface with simple acting buttons with uh, some like some shit. games sorry that doesn't look like shit so um, <laughs> yes so yes and that 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 is, that is engaging with uh, with some uh, different games that uh, that can be games in the pages that can be uh, some uh, different mechanism with uh, some scores some badges uh, with some recognition because people also want to uh, to uh, to uh, have uh, some challenges to be rewarded and to be recognized for for the action uh, so uh, so this is a very very important so just let me uh, let me uh, going back to the to the to the use case. So uh, as I was uh, just uh, showing, we have an interface as you can see on the right that we call a leaderboard. And when an employee uh, just simply simply uh, go to to the um, employee advocacy uh, interface and read some contents, but mostly share the different contents on maybe Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, or even Microsoft Teams. Uh, employees can uh, earn some different some points here and they can have um, uh, a leader uh, board <laughs> uh, in which uh, they can follow the different people that are uh, acting in the in the in the in the sharing uh, the content sharing and they can have a rank uh, so uh, it can it might sound like a competition but it's up it's absolutely not a competition the 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 thing here is really to have fun and to to uh, to uh, to share and to 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 earn the different badges. Uh, and what is uh, also uh, interesting is that um, we have here uh, an IT uh, mechanism. But aside of this, if I'm uh, maybe an HR manager, what I will be able to do is to organize in my uh, in my company maybe a game. Uh, in which I will define the rule and say that okay, maybe the the, the leader or the, the the leader, the second and the third person on the on the leaderboard will be able uh, maybe uh, to uh, to uh, to win a, a dinner in a restaurant or even a, even a gift or even to travel um, because they uh, they were involved in the company culture in the company uh, goals. Uh, here we are speaking about marketing, but they are uh, involved in the in in the marketing visibility, in the fact to leverage the, the uh, maybe the, the company messages and also uh, the company uh, solutions. So actually, this is a way to uh, to engage the people in the culture uh, and to make sure that the company uh, is using uh, the people uh, network uh, to uh, improve and have better results. So this is just an example of what we can do uh, with uh, gamification. And uh, this is what something that we do um, even more and more at Powell Software, and we uh, are trying to uh, um, implement uh, as much as we can as the, the this gamification part on our different uh, use cases. But if we, you want to maybe better see it, what I can do is to show it to you directly in a browser. So if you don't know uh, our internet, Powell internet, uh, this is just a classic portal uh, in which you will have um, uh, just a home a home page, uh, uh, just as a classic intranet. And what is interesting is that in the in the in the departments uh, section, and our intranet is a ready to use intranet. So you you when you are a, a subscriber, a customer, you have all the different sections that are already predefined for you. 
So you have, uh, of course, a, a section that is dedicated to the communication department, and you have this uh, share on social media section. And when, when, you go the, when you go on it, you will be able to access this employee advocacy page in which you will see, as you can see, the different con contents, uh, key contents uh, that are leveraged in the company and the different uh, buttons that will enable you to share the content. So if I'm just trying, for instance, maybe uh, the, the, the hitting the LinkedIn button, I can some, say something, I can uh, just uh, do uh, some settings and I can share it on social media directly through the interface, interface which, which will uh, lead me to, uh, to access to uh, this uh, famous leaderboard that I will be able to follow uh, just to see uh, if I'm the last one, if I'm the first one, uh, and maybe uh, see uh, what, what, what I can improve to share maybe more on Facebook, on Twitter, or even LinkedIn and follow, uh, of course, uh, my score and the different badges that I, that I can earn with a simple synth synthesis of my latest uh, action. Mm -hmm. And Julian, this is it for... A, Julian, we do have a question. So okay. I find this um, very interesting. So Sarah Hall, uh, thank you very much for participating. Um, she's asking, how do you recommend to make this type of gamification relevant for the older professional workforce? Uh, I can see that some of these badges could actually create resistance from uh, some of our organization, like how to engage um, the older people also to participate or, or people who aren't um, as much used to maybe work, working digitally as we are. Okay, uh, yes, this is an interesting question. And maybe I see two things uh, to, uh, to answer this, uh, this question. Um, we know that even more uh, millennials are coming to, to the companies uh, nowadays. Uh, so maybe uh, one interesting lever to, to use is that uh, it is important to mix the teams and to have some people that are coming from the millennials, but also people that are from the older generations. And I think by mixing the teams, uh, it can be a mission for the, for the, for the younger people to also uh, um, take with them the, 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 the older generation and uh, maybe to develop the different uses around this because I think that with the gamification we doesn't need to to be part of an older or maybe to a younger generation this is uh, this this is concretely something I think that is gathering the people so uh, and, and it's and it is not really a um, usually, sorry, uh, something that is complicated. It is not switching from maybe Skype to business to Microsoft Teams. This is just simply to be part of a game. And I think that everybody nowadays uh, maybe has access to social uh, social networks. And when we go maybe to LinkedIn, where everybody uh, normally knows how to use a social network. And this is not as complicated, not uh, more complicated than, than this. And maybe something that I could recommend uh, when we, uh, we, uh, we can expect uh, some um, uh, some problems with uh, with the uses uh, is to uh, to do a, a pilot test uh, and maybe uh, maybe to do it with a mixed team also with some uh, some young generation also uh, old generation just to see uh, how people can react to this and how they use it uh, before to deploy it uh, largely in the company uh, and maybe you will see uh, you will you will see uh, some interesting result about this. Thank you, Julia, because, you know, it, it isn't about forcing people to share. It is about um, having fun and make the people want to share and make them want to engage. They um, want to be part of the company. And, um, you know, it's all about the experience and all having a good time while working, while creating something together. You know, we're all pulling at the same string. And um, now they're coming the questions in. So this is a, a huge topic of discussion, I see. So there's a question of, doesn't it lead to an overload of information if everyone wants to get the badges? Uh, so, sorry, uh, Pierre, can you repeat the question? Um, isn't there, um, like, doesn't it lead to an information overload if everyone shares content to get the badges? So if, if this can lead to an information overload? Yes. Um, actually, no, and this is why uh, if 
I see that we are mostly here speaking about our uh, employee advocacy template. So uh, I'm really happy that uh, that uh, it's uh, something interesting for you. But um, just to come back on the on the on the, the main inter interface of the employee advocacy, um, what we do is also to avoid the, the information overload because and uh, this is this is normal. We have um, even more and more content content that is created on a daily basis, and it can be a problem problem to uh, maybe to find, to look for, and to, to, uh, to interact with the different contents uh, as it might uh, be a, a, a ton of them, a ton of it. But uh, um, this employee advocacy page is also a mean for the marketing team to just uh, put forward the most important content uh, here as a synthesis or also here as a top content. So actually uh, we are not adding even more and even more content here. The marketing team is also doing the filters uh, just to put here forward the most important ones. So actually employees will not have to look for the important contents as it is already displayed here. So they will just have to, to uh, just to take a look at the main one and ju just to share it, uh, maybe to just to read it if they just want to read it. Uh, just and you know, it's not it's not only for, for sharing publicly, but also internally. So yes. um, it's like the both. And there's another interesting uh, question. So thank you everyone for joining. It's really fun to um, going through all these questions. Um, there is a question from Erika Hudson. Um, how can you make this sustainable? Um, in the beginning, it's fun and unique, but does that die after a while? How can you make it stay interesting? Uh, this is a very interest, interesting question. And just let me come back on this slide. Because we were explaining that uh, we were speaking about the product, but just let uh, let me come back to the to the to the context. Uh, we were explaining that it, it was uh, really important to set uh, uh, gamification in the digital workplace uh, because um, this is something that is involving uh, communication teams, but also IT teams and uh, HR teams. Uh, and uh, just to uh, to uh, to come back on the exa example I was giving, we just showed you here uh, an IT mechanism that can enable to have some gamification. But when we have it, we are then able to put some different actions uh, in the company. For instance, if uh, I uh, I am an HR manager, I know that with the employee uh, advocacy, I will be able to work with communication teams to set uh, a game with some different prizes. Uh, and I will be able to re reward the, 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 the people that are actors of these systems. So it's important to have the gamification part, but not to make it um, something that will die maybe in one or two months. It's important for all the different teams, HR comes and also IT as they are implementing it, um, to, um, to uh, think about some different actions uh, to uh, to uh, set in place in the company. So it can be some uh, some games, some games, uh, some uh, prizes to win. Uh, it's it's up to you to uh, to set um, to set the uh, uh, maybe a reward or a recognition to uh, to make it alive and to make sure it is a success. You can invent it for new like every time. And um, there's also another interesting question. It was um, with the gamification. Can we also measure? on which topics those leader colleagues engage, for example, diversity and inclusion or staff well-being, to have a mapping and to use them also as influencers. So is there a possibility to have a measurement on that? Um, what we can do at the Powell Software uh, is to uh, to access the leaderboard. So actually, you can identify uh, the different people that are sharing on the on the different social networks. Um, and what you will be able to see, and um, and you, you are not seeing it here, but uh, you uh, will be had, uh, you will have the possibility to have some different metrics about the contents that is shared. Uh, so you will know. Um, 
you will uh, know uh, what is shared mostly uh, uh, on uh, maybe uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, or Twitter. Uh, and of course, uh, you will have with simple mechanism the possibility to uh, identify the people that shares uh, the, the most uh, content. So you will be able to, to reach them and maybe to better, as you were saying, engaging them in, uh, in, um, as influencers in the company. Mm -hmm. And so we do have uh, another question. So um, based on the question we have before involving elderly people and like mixing, uh, mixing the teams, mm -hmm. if we have any practical experience or methods to share. And actually, I have one like just yesterday. Um, because uh, my uh, team colleague, she's, um, she's, uh, her name is Galinda. Um, she's one of, I will say, like the more experienced party. So she has got LinkedIn and she saw us posting the whole evening and really engaging and making comments. And then she was uh, ne sitting next to me and was like, I want to try it also. Now I'm curious. And I showed her how to share and um, how to make like a great comment and make some text advisors. So it's really like um, taking them with you on the journey and doing it together and doing it in front of each other and also sharing ideas and experience uh, with each other, other. Because Galinda, obviously, she has a huge net network and I haven't got that huge network that she has, but I can use her network and she can use my experience. So we can really learn from each other this way and you Maybe combine, you and combine your strengths exactly exactly Yes, and this is why. And uh, the, 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 your point was essential, Pia, because when you were saying that uh, when we are part of a, of a, of a gamified uh, approach, it's uh, it might not be complex to implement because we are not here to to switch uh, from uh, uh, basic uses to uh, to other uses. We are here to have fun. And I think that if we, people are connecting to have fun, they will have less frictions about the fact to use something because they will just uh, connect to, to be part of an experience in which they want to involve. So it's kind of different than just switching some tools on, or using complex digital workplace tools. Mm -hmm. And I just um, received another question. Um, that um, about people not seeing the value in those employee advocacy at, um, activities or like engagement activities. What about people who are really resistant and like really um, not wanting to share? How to reach them? If I'm just coming back to your example, Pia, you were saying that you uh, you have someone that is not uh, someone that is really active on LinkedIn. But um, instead of having a discussion uh, prior uh, to share maybe the event on LinkedIn, you uh, on your side were uh, you were really active on LinkedIn, and I think that this is the same. This is the same case here. Uh, if we have people that don't does, don't want to use the the, the, the this uh, this employee advocacy template, and that we have people that want really want to use it, and that's really active by sharing the social uh, the social post, they will make maybe some visibility internally, externally, and I think that this is um, something that 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 can be uh, that can be seen as a motor, because this can lead uh, people to. Uh, to be part also of the experience because they will see the other ones be active uh, on this uh, on this practice. So I think that it, it can be very, very interesting to uh, to maybe have some kind of ambassadors or uh, uses mm -hmm. hero that will uh, that will maybe start to 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 put forward the different uses and the advantages and that will be able to uh, bring the, the, the different people together around this common goal. You know, maybe some some are afraid to share because they don't know how it works and they don't see the benefit of it because they just don't um, don't know it. They, they never experienced them, something good with it. So um, it's really like creating an atmosphere where um, they are they're feeling comfortable to share, like having also um, like in a team, a good atmosphere, a good, a good team, basically, so that they everyone feels comfortable with what they're doing. It's not about having or forcing, but it's about wanting. Um, and exactly. This, yes. Exactly. And, that, and that's the most important point. Yes, thank you. Thank you all for participating. 
Do we have other questions or? Not yet, Julia. Vas-y. <laughs> Don't hesitate. <laughs> So as an older user, I'm not sure it is a fear of the tech. It's about seeing the time investment. Is it worth it? Uh, yes, and this is and this is where the, the software pro provider is playing a key role. Mm -hmm. Because um, as a software provider, we have also as a mission to provide the simplest um, experience uh, that we can provide to the end user. Uh, and by this, uh, we can just uh, here come back to the example of the employee advocacy. When we are just speaking of sharing uh, the content uh, to give you maybe uh, the, 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 the IT uh, mechanism view, we, are, we have here some just some simple buttons. So actually, we just have to do one click to be able to share the content internally and externally. And what it can do is to open a, a, a quick window in which we will have uh, maybe a key message that will be already pre-written for the people. So we doesn't even have to, to think about what we can write about the content or what we have to do about it. Uh, everything um, in the Power Software Solution is predefined and pre-made and everything should be like this. Uh, the, the important thing is to provide really uh, an, a, a simple experience, a simple end user experience for, uh, for uh, to, in order to have the most en engaging experience. Yes, we do have some um, other regards. Um, um, Vera is asking Vera Sondermann if there are, are other use cases maybe that uh, we can discuss. And um, there's also one, um, but I have a lot of time pressure and accountability to the corporation if, if obviously someone um, has, has to share something or, you know, you, you have to be, you have to get familiar with the tools. And even though if you know the tech, there's the time aspect. Yes. Um, yes, and uh, we, we do, I don't have a concrete uh, use case to share today with you uh, as, a, as a solution from Powell Software. Um, but uh, what is important to keep in mind is that gamification can be part of, uh, of, a, of a ton of use case. It, it, is not, it is not only about communication, it can be uh, uh, maybe around some, uh, some, uh, some uh, interface that allows people to keep social links. It can be also, uh, uh, if we just think about maybe the onboarding process. Okay, some people, uh, people that are new to the company and that are uh, onboarding during a one maybe or two weeks uh, can be part also of an interface in which we have the gamification because uh, they need to learn, they need to develop some skills, they need also to exchange with people that they don't know. Uh, and this, this um, approach that we have seen uh, in the employee advocacy use case can be something that can be uh, transposed and used also uh, in the use cases uh, such as the, the, the onboarding experience. Uh, and Pia, uh, sorry, what was the question do, uh, about the time? Um, there's also like the time aspect. Um, how, um, yes, you know, having um, a time pressure because you're all already working a lot. Um, there is also the time factor. So you have, you have not only the people um, you, you want to share, but they want to invest their time in those tools. Yes, yes. And this is why also this is important to engage not only the communication, but also the HR, because um, as we are even more fragmented between the field, the office, and also uh, uh, the, 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 the remote workers, it is really important to keep this uh, this uh, this engagement uh, because we uh, everybody has a job. We all have some missions to do, but um, if we do not have this link to the company, uh, and even more if we are uh, maybe working from home or on the field, uh, if we don't have this, uh, this, uh, this link to the company, to the corporate culture, uh, we might have problem to have a sense of belonging and to have uh, uh, this uh, end user experience that we uh, that we uh, usually, uh, that everybody wants to, uh, to, uh, to, to, to feel and to also to, uh, to experience in his or her company.
Spanish. So I think that even even it may, if it's uh, sometimes it requires some times, and it's not uh, um, every time the, the the case because if we just uh, think about this employee use case, actually this is not really taking time because if I'm if I want to 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 share you know this article mid Julian, I have the, just the simple share button and the leaderboard is something that is automatically produced. So uh, actually this is not really taking time to employees, but uh, this is really co co creating some some connections, some social links, and some engagement in in the culture. So uh, I think it's more a benefit for the employee, uh, more than a, than a time uh, in, in which we we, do, we we are not able to to act for the company. Mm. You know, it's really from the co company wise. It uh, it has to create a culture, as you said, Julia, um, that people feel comfortable to share. Not that the CEO will, will look at how much time you've spent on LinkedIn during your working time, because to be honest, we're not paid for the time anymore. We're paid for what we're doing, right? Um, like as long as you, you have your successes or you reach your goals, there's nothing wrong about being on LinkedIn and sharing or, or like being active on the internet and sharing or engaging, right? Mm -hmm. Do you maybe have another example to share with us or is there a, an, another Please question in the chat? <laughs> you will have some difficult use cases. I'm sure of, I'm sure of. Just put them in the comment section. So I think people are busy writing and thinking about uh, what they could um, participate with. Julian, do you have another mean you want to talk about or speak about? Uh, nothing specially to put forward, but maybe, the, as Pierre was saying, don't hesitate to share some use case. Just to give you another example, we were speaking on the advocacy about the onboarding. Uh, one that is coming to my mind now, and that can be that, that can maybe uh, really interesting with some gamification is the ideation process, because we know that a lot, a lot of uh, uh, a lot of people that maybe sometimes are, are too shy have a lot of ideas, but uh, don't really know how to concrete share it uh, through the digital workplace. This is totally something that can be used with some gamification to allow everyone to be part of an experience, but also to be actors and to share the ideas. So as you can see, we have a lot of different use cases in which we can use the gamification part. And I am not allowed to speak about this now, but we will have um, as some uh, really interesting uh, product uh, features and uh, news to share with you uh, in the coming months uh, around this topic at Powell Software. Yes, exactly. You know, um, while thinking of creating a, a culture where you can invest, um, you know, digitally, we don't um, meet people anymore. Um, especially working from home, it's really hard for um, people to get enough to get to know each other. And I'm thinking of a, a product, a tool that we frequently use and which is discussed. And I know that there's, um, because I've been, I've been asked for that tool. So maybe this is now a little, we have now a little time slot to introduce this tool. And Julia, do you already know what I'm talking about to engage people digitally? Sorry, sorry Pia, I can't hear you very well. Sorry. So we are, um, we just launched a new tool to engage people more digitally to get to know each other more. And maybe Julia, you already know what I'm uh, aiming at. Um, a nice tool that um, we have to um, new people like for new people to come into the company and to get to know each other. Yes, and you are. I, I presume you are speaking about the virtual coffee machine that we have at Powell Software. Exactly. Um, Actually, uh, aside of the fact that we also have some solution for Microsoft Teams, uh, and we will not go into a deep dive in this because this is not the main topic, but I will show you um, a feature that we offer with Powell Teams, uh, the, the other solution we have aside of Powell Intranet, uh, in which we have this famous feature PI is speaking about uh, that we call the uh, virtual uh, coffee uh, machine. So actually, uh, just in, in quick, uh, in a very br briefly with quick words, uh, Powell uh, Teams is a solution that will allow you to access some um, predefined Teams templates. Uh, 
So uh, to uh, simplify the, the end user uses on a daily basis, uh, you will find here in an application in Teams that we call Powell Teams, uh, the different uh, Teams templates that you can use, whether you are an HR for the onboarding process, uh, communication teams for small internet in Teams. Uh, we have a, a ton of use cases that you can use with some uh, different templates. And it is very easy to do with uh, create a new team button. Uh, you have also a dashboard uh, that will also uh, enable the people to use some refiners to quickly find the different teams you belong to. Because you know that we, we everybody uh, everybody knows that uh, we have uh, now uh, some uh, uh, huge teams list in which it is quite complicated to find some information, the teams, the channels, but also the tabs. And here we can uh, have the possibility to use filters maybe with the location, the department, uh, or also uh, by business process if I want to find all the different teams. If I'm an HR manager that are in concern with the onboarding process, Process, I can just click here and see just the teams in concern with this with this process. So we have some different refiners to to quickly find the teams and also their relevant information. And we have this famous um, end user smart dashboard uh, that will uh, display also the different teams um, for for the end users. And what we can find in some of if in some of uh, those uh, templates is this uh, coffee machine that will uh, aim, um, uh, that will uh, allow to have some social connections between the, the employees in the company. And just to show it to you, uh, we have it as a tab here. But concretely, it is a uh, it is the feature. It is a tool that will um, just scan the different uh, uh, agenda from the people in the company just to check also the different availability uh, between a, a random uh, group of people. It can also be set uh, um, with some different settings uh, if we do not want to be it uh, as a uh, use, use it as a, as a random tool. Uh, and it will just uh, automatically, uh, automatically block some uh, short meetings between people to have some coffee breaks uh, and to speak about some different topics uh, maybe during uh, 10 or maybe 15 minutes uh, to, to uh, make sure that they also have some links between uh, the field, the office, and also uh, for the people who are working remotely. So it is very interesting to see that uh, we can have a, a tool uh, that will maintain uh, social links uh, and that everything is done automatically. It does not uh, just to, uh, to, uh, to speak about the previous topic require any time for the employee or even the IT or even the HR as it is uh, predefined and it is aut uh, made automatically. And uh, also to make a correlation with our topic today and the, and the gamification, this is uh, an interesting use case because if we have some um, some um, automatic uh, meetings that are um, uh, available in our agenda thanks to this, to this coffee machine we can also have maybe some gamification approach with the different employees here during the coffee breaks and this is something maybe that we will be able to share in the coming months little teaser there for you guys <laughs> little teaser and this is all about the coffee machine Mm -hmm. So we just had a comment, not a question, that um, Frédéric de Levar just um, said that I think taking time on intranet and sharing posts is linked to the culture and to the employee engagement vision of your company. Yes, and this is why it, is, it has also uh, mainly to be driven by uh, both the HR team and the communication team, because the IT team is providing the system, is providing the digital workplace. We are speaking about the employees that needs to be engaged, but actually this is the mission of the HR and the comms people that will say, we need to do this to engage the people, and it goes through the IT, so they also involve the IT to provide the best experience and the simplest uh, experience possible to achieve this engagement. Yes, you know, we want them to have a good time because we want them to stay at our company. Obviously, we onboarded them. Um, this wasn't um, easy and this wasn't like not you, you want to be cost efficient. Um, you want to keep the employees under your company and therefore you have to engage them. You have to give them the chances you want to. Yes, to make them comfortable. Culture is key. We yes. people. We know that. <laughs> 
Yes, right. of course, and you're right. You're right. That that makes the difference because uh, someone that is part of, a, of an experience that is engaged in a company is able to understand how, what, what he is doing on a daily basis and why he is doing it. So actually, this is crucial to 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 make this understandable and also to uh, to make sure that people are involved in it. Yes, and and to be connected, you know, also via the virtual coffee machine that we just shared, which is obviously a topic that everyone uh, wants to talk about now. <laughs> so we we are getting comments on um, people finding the idea great. Uh, thank you for sharing. You're welcome. Um, anytime. Um, here's a comment. Just like to add, it would even be better to add the topics which had been shared in those coffee breaks. That way, also other can step into the discussion. Use the coffee break as an opener for a new thread. Yes, and actually, uh, I didn't show it to you because this is a different features. But this is something that we have at Powell Software, uh, and that we call the that we call the, the the water fountain. So here we have an interface that can be correlated to this um, to this uh, coffee machine in Teams. Um, and uh, this is an interface in which you have the ability as an employee to pick um, a topic and to have uh, some different questions that are um, that can be seen maybe as uh, icebreakers to uh, introduce some discussions that you can have with your colleagues. Uh, it can be uh, predefined and configured by uh, the IT, by the communication teams, by the HR with the topic uh, that they want. So actually, we already have a list here as examples, but it can be pre configured uh, prior to, to, to provide the experience uh, to make sure uh, the, the IT, the HR, and also the communication teams will provide the, the right topics they want to provide. And they, uh, they can also set, to set it to uh, make sure that it can be correlated to the virtual coffee machine uh, and uh, help the uh, shy employees to have uh, some introduction to different topics. So actually- You, know, you always know it, like you're sitting there and there's this awkward um, silence and we don't want to have that we want to have people um, being engaged and we want them to feel comfortable and awkward silence isn't comfortable so um, this was a really good idea i think to introduce into the tool um, here's also a comment would also demonstrate to managers the business benefits of coffee breaks this is always overseen how many people use coffee to dig deeper in topics exactly uh, and this is about important, I think, for a manager because, um, and it is true uh, when we are at work, it is true in our private life, it is true also when we are practicing some sports, uh, team spirit and also uh, team achievement is uh, always the, the, the best achievement that we can have. So it's very, 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 very important, even for uh, an, uh, even more for a fragmented workforce, to have a team uh, that is really alive, that have some connections. And this is really uh, one uh, maybe of the solutions that you will be able to find to make sure that people keep this connection on a daily basis and to make sure that they have uh, uh, exchanges and that they, uh, they take some time to discuss about maybe uh, their connection, their private life, but also about professional things, uh, their achievements, their missions, uh, what uh, they can do together to achieve uh, their, their different goals. So actually, this is very important for a manager just to, to have a solution like this, like this one to, uh, to make sure their teams uh, keep some connections. And you know, it was really, so I started in the company and there was already the coffee machine. And uh, for me, it was really, you know, we were all a home office. I never see anybody like, no, on the onsite event, I just saw my colleagues for the first time, like, and I could touch him, like I could uh, give him a hug, obviously with our masks on, but, um, you know, it's really um, fun to connect and to get to know the people because you, you are maybe writing, but you're never having this exchange. You have professional meetings, obviously, um, but it's all about, you know, connect and we have, we have our headquarter in Paris. And, um, you know, this is really a chance for me to get to know like our HR lady, um, our working student, but there are so many different people like also from North America, and um, you don't have to schedule this talk, but you're, you, you, you think maybe, oh, no, I want, uh, I want to have a coffee. Oh, there's a coffee break. Uh, great, I can join. And, and there are always so many different people and you have I, I think you have you've always something you can you can talk about even if you don't have something you have the water fountain you know you get you get to know the people through those talks and then you are 
you are not not as afraid anymore to ask somebody for help because you know we have all those different experiences that we can use in the company so um like getting to know someone and knowing oh she's also interested in that one so maybe if you have a question also content related you can you can you can ask like them to, to do something or like ask for nice restaurants in Versailles for example um where, where you where you are going for a trip or ask for a friend's trip so um it's really about the connection like obviously you don't have to be befriend your colleague if you don't want to but it's just to you know break down boundaries that are there because um because um people aren't socially engaged you know mm -hmm. um and, and you get to know them. You also uh, get to know uh, what are their, their, their daily missions. You have the, the possibility also to do an icebreaker and then to introduce uh, yourself uh, as the people who is doing uh, this kind of kind of work. So actually, uh, uh, if we just take the example of the onboarding, as you were explaining, uh, Pia, mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure that if you do maybe two, three, four coffee machines that then that you present to the people, they will have you in mind or you will have in mind uh, who is working on what and this uh, this can help also to have some um, a more fluid environment and to uh, quickly uh, identify who can help who might help on your know, different problematics etc cetera, etc cetera. so it's, it's very very crucial to have uh, to have some uh, some tools that uh, that can enable to to develop the the social links in the company exactly so um we i think um to maybe some some a little bit up what we've uh, just um, discussed so what we can uh, do or which um, like main resource we have i said in the beginning there is obviously there is the content then there is the company culture and there are the tools which we are talking about so please um, feel free to share and also feel free to share what maybe has gone good which ideas have you implemented we're interesting you know we want to have we want to have a chat with you we want to learn also so we don't know everything so we're keen on uh, what do you have already um, solutions so julien was already asking this question but what are your solutions uh, what tools are you using um, what do you rec recommend which strategies maybe um, please feel uh, free to share and to comment we're eager to learn from you guys Everyone's busy typing now, I guess. <laughs> and if we doesn't have some shared experience of some uh, some questions, uh, maybe this is the end of this session. Uh, so, uh, Pi, if you, do you have something to share from the chat or? No, um, not yet. No. <laughs> this is your last chance to to share some uh, some of your experience. Last call. Last call. <laughs> last call. So don't uh, don't hesitate to share to share with you some experience, some things that you have implemented. Uh, maybe if you have experienced also uh, something negative about the implementation of a tool or uh, any use case, feel free to feel free to to give uh, to to give a point of view or an idea in the chat. Mm -hmm. Or if you have uh, any questions about the tools that we just um, presented, um, like, for example, the virtual coffee machine, I always get uh, many questions about that, how it's uh, been implemented and how it's working on the daily, um, yes, on the, on the day, um, like, for example, can you reject an invitation to the coffee machine? Of course you can, um, you don't have to join if you don't want to, or if you don't have the time of course you um, don't have to join it's uh, all about decision and yes it's about enablement you know you gave uh, you you give as company you give your employees um, a tool um, yes and and they can choose to accept it what is your key argument about gamification this is a question yes the key argument about uh, gamification, if it's a question that is in concern with Powell Software Solution, is 
simplicity and fun. If I have two words to put forward, this is a simple experience and something that can be fun to use. So there's a little adding to this comment. You talk uh, with managers and business benefits. Fun isn't for managers. <laughs> Uh, managers have, um, for most of them, some complicated jobs, some complicated target to achieve. They are here to uh, fulfill some um, business requirements. Mm -hmm. but We're talking about they business not, benefits. Mm -hmm. They should not forget that business benefits can also be achieved with a motivated team and also with a team that is working together closely with uh, the right level of interactions. And I think it is uh, that the, the, the fun and uh, an, enthusiastic, uh, an enthusiastic approach can also um, help the managers to provide this experience inside their teams, not mm -hmm. only for their teams, but also for their teams in the, the company uh, in a large scale. Uh, so I think it's really important because it can help also managers to build the, the level of cohesion that they need in their team. It's, it's also about, um, you know, they, your employees, they want to identify themselves as part of the company. They want to say my company and not the company. You know, you want them to um, take part and to really um, think also for the company, you know, to be proud of working there, to have this, um, this comfortable culture, and then they will be good at their job, you know. Uh, then they will do some tasks maybe gladly and they will support each other also uh, employees you know if you get to know each other better you will support each other yes and i think also Pierre, that is it's important to keep in mind that even more and more people are now um, expecting from their company to mm -hmm. be less uh, maybe uh, corporate but to bring the, the, the corporate uh, goals that they set uh, into an experience that is uh, maybe uh, something that is more fun uh, on a daily basis because people now are expecting this. Yes, exactly. Like um, I can talk for myself or like for the generation that's coming even, even after me. Um, so I just interviewed um, someone who is, um, she's 18. So I'm already 10 years um, older than her. That makes me feel old. Um, but for her, it's also about, um, you know, um, what does the company do for me? So she's really, at, at this young age, she, th she thinks about it. Um, and it's really coming, you know. Um, it's not also, uh, I mean, it's not that they're not working for fun, uh, like, um, you know, but they want to have fun at work. They um, want to know what's the company doing. Um, like, um, how, how am I, how am I going what, what's the plan? How am I going to be introduced? How am I going to be engaged? Um, like, what can I do to get to know my colleagues? Or what, what, um, what tools are there? I hit the nail, apparently. So let me just check the comments. Um, so yes. Um, Pia, you hit the nail. Even in times, uh, we contracts become shorter and shorter. Uh, identification is still one of the drivers who brings the most value, like willing to contribute doing over time, extend borders, horizons, etc. Yes. Julia, are you good? Yes, I'm just having uh, still some uh, troubles to, to hear what you're saying, but... <laughs> so I hit the nail. Um, okay. with, with the contracts becoming shorter and, th and shorter, um, you want to engage the people and you want to them to feel good in the company. Th them too, sorry? To feel good in the company. To make yes, them yes, exactly, exactly. Bring the most uh, value. Exactly. Uh, and this is, a, this is a cr currently a, a very hot topic for the, for the HR teams because uh, we were speaking about the, the directly the team's managers also, but we also have to keep in mind that it's not only a, a deal, uh, it's not a big deal for only for managers, but it's also a nature mission to make sure that people have this, uh, this corporate culture experience inside of the company. Uh, and they will be also the people that will address the managers about, uh, about these different objectives. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, and however so they will help the manager providing the right experience yes exactly so i've just gotten the message that um, unfortunately or what is uh, unfortunately that the session will now be um, over so we will gonna have to finish this finish up this session but you know if you're interested you're invited to contact me you know feel free to contact me and to connect on linkedin uh, and also julia we are there for you and we're happy to make a contact to our other colleagues so they can share their experiences with you i'm sure that you have to you know think about the session and maybe you will come back to us later and we're really happy to share with you and yes thank you thank you so much and the uh, messages coming in thank you so much for this inspiring session and discussion well moderator bravo thank you yes <laughs> thank you all for your participation and again don't hesitate to contact us if you have a question or something that you mm -hmm. comes in, comes into your mind uh, late later or maybe if you want a, a full product demo and to ask your questions privately uh, don't hesitate to write to us and we will uh, we will uh, be very it will be our pleasure to uh, to uh, to do this for you